Hey guys, this is Tono and today I'm going to bring you up to speed with everything we know about Marvel Rivals so far. So if you've been living under a rock or in a different universe, you may have not seen the official announcement video that went up earlier today that is playing in the background right now. Uh, so the merciless clash between the tyrannical dictator Doctor Doom and his future counterpart from the year 2099 has forced countless universes to collide in the time stream entanglement, creating new worlds and crisis unknown. So that seems very similar to like Battle World, except it's specifically between two different versions of Doctor Doom completely screwing up the timeline. Uh, now, superheroes and villains from across the multiverse have to fight together and against one another as disparate groups each seek to best both dooms before one achieves domination over these realities. Familiar faces become newfound foes while uh, former enemies become the greatest of allies in Marvel Rivals. So that's the official kind of synopsis. It looks really interesting from that, but I'm going to kind of go through and give you my kind of summary here. So Marvel Rivals is an upcoming hero shooter set in the Marvel Universe. If, if you've played games such as Overwatch or Battleborn, so far the gameplay is looking very similar in style. You're going to choose a character. They're going to be a named character with their own lore, their own abilities and stuff like that. The developers are NetEase, who have worked on a bunch of mobile games in the past, including stuff like Diablo Immortal, Marvel Duel, and Marvel Super War. However, the devs for this are apparently composed of a bunch of people who have previously worked on stuff like Call of Duty and Battlefield. So there's going to be some really interesting stuff to kind of come out of this. So, you know, NetEase is a developer, but they've got a whole bunch of little studios and stuff like that. So assumably it's one of those studios that's primarily made up of you know fps based characters uh based people um keep in mind the game is third person though so you know it's kind of you know a mix between that so you're going to choose an iconic character from the marvel universe and you're going to play as them you'll battle in a 6v6 team-based competitive arena defeating an enemy to claim victory and come out on top at the moment so far there's only like that confirmed we're not sure if there's going to be additional kind of game modes assumedly there will be maybe there's going to be stuff like overwatches kind of you know push the payload kind of stuff or protect a point or something Something along those lines. Currently, there's 18 confirmed characters, which we'll go over in another video, but there is representation from all different aspects of the Marvel Universe, which is really, really awesome, with everyone from Avengers to the Guardians of the Galaxy and X-Men even represented, which I am most hyped for because X-Men got left out of this kind of stuff for quite a while, so it's really cool to see them in here. Each character is going to have a different set of abilities. Some will be melee monsters like the Incredible Hulk, getting up and close and personal, uh, and then others you may prefer to play as someone like Iron Man, who's going to fly around and rain bullet hell down upon anyone who crosses him. From what we've seen, though, there are going to be three different roles that the characters are going to fit in. Same with, you know, basically every other game. You've got support characters, you've got tanking characters, and then you've got damage-based characters. One of the coolest things, though, is that the terrain is destructible. If there are buildings in your way, some of them are able to be blown up and such, which is something pretty unique, and I'm excited to see what people can do with it. I'm also interested to see if you can, like, move the stuff around once you've kind of destroyed a building or something like that. It seems like environmental destruction is going to be a pretty decently big part of the game, so we'll have to see how that plays out. One of the other more interesting things as well is that there is team up abilities. It seems like you can potentially have your allies channel their powers kind of into you to unlock some more powerful abilities and really drive home that team based play. One of the examples they gave was Iron Man getting shot by a gamma bullet essentially from the Hulk on his team and then empowering him with like gamma radiation blasts. It was really cool. So far, we've seen two different maps with Asgard and Tokyo from the year 2099 being the first two. But from what we know, that's very likely to just be the beginning. The game will be launching on PC exclusively to begin with, but apparently they're exploring, bringing it to consoles in the future. Maybe in the future, maybe after the different beta tests have happened and stuff like that. Who knows if there's going to be cross-play or anything along those lines. We'll have to wait and see that too. 
The game will be free to play, but it's currently unclear if all the characters will be free to play to begin with, or if there's going to be a rotation that's free to play while you buy characters to be accessible all the time, similar to like a lot of MOBAs do. They'll have like a, a free rotation of characters that changes each week, but then you can buy, say, for example, Mantis, and then you can play as Mantis whenever you want. The last thing that they showed off was Galacta, which is Galactus's daughter from the comics. Uh, it will be very interesting to see how exactly she plays into the game as well in the future. So I'm going to put a link down in the description and in the comments to a uh, signing up for the upcoming closed alpha test. And let me know what videos you guys want me to make about the game in the future. Um, I'm going to be hanging around on the discords. I'm going to be checking this game out. I am very, very excited. Overwatch was my jam for quite a while. And, you know, a Marvel version of overwatch is right up my alley i am very very excited for it let me know down in the comments what you guys are most excited for as well i hope you guys had a wonderful day and goodbye